the mind needs an anchor. Otherwise it floats around like a, like a balloon, wherever the wind currents go, sometimes up, sometimes down. Sometimes it falls in a patch of thorns and it explodes. All kinds of things can happen to the mind if it doesn't have a place to be anchored. So make the breath the anchor. Make your body the anchor, your body as you feel it from within, right here, right now. Just tell yourself, this is the only thing you're going to be interested in, and you'll find pretty quickly that the mind will think up other thoughts, like vapor rising up from the body and going this way and that way, but you don't have to follow them. They can be there, but they're not the point of your interest. This is an important aspect of concentration practice. It's not the case that you go into an airtight chamber, total sensory deprivation, with no distractions at all, and then you can concentrate. That's not the case. If that were the case, then where, where would the Buddha have gained his awakening? You have to decide that in the buzzing confusion of what's coming in through the senses right now and what the mind is creating, you're going to focus on one thing, and you're going to hang on right there. And you'll learn how to withstand any of the pulls and urges that would pull you away. That's how the mind gets into concentration. It is an act of will. It's a decision. It's a kind of determination. After all, everything we experience in life is based on our desires. If you want to find a true happiness, you have to make sure your desires get all lined up. And you stick with the ones that are in line with that basic desire for happiness that doesn't change on you, that doesn't disappoint, that doesn't harm anybody. And you realize if you want to find that, then you've got to stay focused right here, anchored right here, for your safety and the safety of those around you. So make the breath your anchor. Make it comfortable so it's a good place to stay. But stick with it continuously. And then when the winds start blowing, you don't get blown around, because change is going to happen. Even if nothing drastic happens in the world outside, and there's aging, illness, and death that happens in the body. You don't want to get blown around by them, swept around by the currents. So keep the mind anchored right here at the breath. That way it won't cause any harm to itself and won't cause any harm to other people. If a ship is out in a harbor and the storm comes up and it's not anchored, it can go running up on shore. And who knows where it's going to land, what damage it can do, as it's damaging, you're getting damaged itself. So keep it well anchored. You're safe, the people around you are going to be safe. That way you find a happiness that harms nobody at all. <laughs>